Let's have an example here, problem 21-1, rotational quirk. Um, a 1.4 kilogram, 15 cm diameter uniform solid sphere of um, the moment of inertia about the center of mass is given, is 256 mR squared, is rotating about its diameter at 70.0 RPM. Letter A, what is the kinetic energy? And letter B, if an additional 5 millijoules of energy are added to the kinetic energy, is that pato? So uh, anyway, so again, what is the new angular speed of the of the sphere? So uh, maybe I'll just give you a minute to think of how to solve this problem. For letter A, you just use your usual your formula or your equation for rotational kinetic energy. For the second one, you need your kinetic energy theorem. Okay, so again, so after that, I'll I'll show you the solution. Okay, uh, a minute has elapsed, sort of. <laughs> okay, let's solve this problem. So the mass of the of the solid sphere is, um, let's say, 1.4 kilograms, and the diameter is 15.0 cm, implying that the radius, ayan na, ingat dito ha, diameter yung given, so you need to convert to radius. For example, kung exam nito, baka dun sa choices given, yung sagot pag diameter yung ginamit, alam ba, nagkamali ka, diameter, ginawa mong radius, at saka yung totoong sagot. Kala mo tama, yun pala mali yung sagot mo. Nangyayari yun, 7.50 cm, yung magiging radius niya. So, Ang um, tinatanong for the first one is what is the kinetic energy? So what's the kinetic energy of this? Remember, walang um, translation na nangyayari. We are assuming that it's not translating or the, the, the solid sphere is not translating. Hence, we are only interested in determining the rotational kinetic energy of the object, of the of the sphere. So we have K, rotational, is just one. Ano ulit yung formula? Ano ulit yung kailangan? Ano yun? One half. One half. One half. Moment of inertia. I omega squared. So, okay. So, I is given, I is usually given, binibigay yan sa problem, is 2 over 5 mR squared. So, this is simply 1 half times the moment of inertia, which is 2 over 5 m, where m, sige, sulat ko muna lahat, mR squared times omega squared. So, yan, given na yan. So, we'll just plug and play. So, this is simply 1 half by 2 fifths. Pangat ng 2 fifths to. Two fifths um, mass is 1.4 kilograms times the radius, which is 7.5 times 10 to the minus 2 meters quantity squared. I'm using S a units, by the way, times the angular velocity, which is um, 70 RPM. Wait, 70 revolutions per minute quantity squared. I don't know 70 revolutions per minute. Now, um, uh, please verify this note. Um, 70 rev per minute is ano yan? Convert natin. So this is simply, ang gusto natin ay um, regions per second kasi yun yung SI. So uh, medyo maarte tayo eh. So um, 1 minute, 60 seconds times um, 1 revolution, 2 pi regions. And please verify that this is 7.33 regions per second. And therefore, this is equal to 7.33 rad per second and when you calculate it, the rotational kinetic energy is about 0 0.0846 joules. That's your answer. Nakuha to. Nakuha paano gagawin? Calculator work lang yung A. Okay? Nakuha. Questions? May tanong? Wala? Ah, okay, so letter B. Now, we want to determine, so nagdagdag ka ng energy dun sa, sa rotating body, therefore, dapat bibilis yan. Dapat bumagal yan, mag, mag, magulat ka mali na yung sagot mo. Sure na yun. Um, what is the new angular speed? So that final angular speed should be higher than the angular speed that we have right now. So for that maybe we will use, use work kinetic energy theorem. That is, the work is gives you the change in the kinetic energy, but this is simply one. One half, I, remember, hindi naman nagbabago yung moment of inertia, at least for our system. Pwede magbago yan minsan, pero for now, hindi siya nagbabago. I omega F squared minus one half I omega I squared, where omega I is the initial uh, angular velocity and omega F is the final angular velocity. So solving for omega F gives us, uh, please verify this, um, this is simply what uh, uh, omega f is um, this is w plus one half 
Oh, wait lang. Sulat ko muna yung ano, mali-mali. One half um, I omega F squared is simply capital W plus one half I omega I squared. And then solving for omega F gives us omega F is simply um, omega I squared plus two capital W over I raised to one half. Tama? 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 Tama, di ba? So, yun. So, um, just plugging uh, um, plugging uh, our expressions, we will give, this will give us omega F, paki-verify to, is 7.54 regions per second or about 72 RPM. So, yan yung sagot to. Ang gagawin mo lang ay ipa-plug in yung omega I na nakuha natin. This is 7.33. Ito yun. And the rotational kinetic energy, uh, sorry, the moment of inertia is also given. And the work done is also given. That's 15 millijoules. I saw 15 millijoules ba? 5 millijoules, sorry. This should be 5 millijoules. So, so yun. Nakuha. Gets to? Ganun lang. Ganun lang mag to. Okay. So the point is you use your break kinetic energy theorem to determine the final angular velocity of the of the expressions that we have. Okay, sige.